the scalloped hammerhead shark. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh, this? I found this seashell at the beach. I've got a whole box full of seashells. If you put the seashell close to your ear, you can hear the sea. Here, listen. <coughs> it sounds just like the sea, doesn't it? <coughs> What's the matter, Hero? Hmm? I think there's something underneath the seashells. It's a fish. Look at the shape of its head. It's so weird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? We found a fish with a strange looking head. Hi, Leo. That's certainly a very unusual fish you found. Can you find some information about it? Of course I can. That's great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch the fish. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, did you find any information about the fish? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The fish you found is actually a young scalloped hammerhead shark. The shark gets its name from the unusual shape of its head, which looks like a hammer. The shark's head helps it to find prey. There are special sense organs spread out over the wide head of the scalloped hammerhead shark. These organs help the shark to pick up electrical signals that are given off by animals underwater. Wow! Just like a radar! So, what animals does the scalloped hammerhead shark eat? Scalloped hammerhead sharks mostly eat fish like sardines and herring, and sometimes animals like squid and octopus. Bigger hammerhead sharks even eat smaller sharks. But since the shark you found is still young, it prefers to eat small fish and shrimp. By the way, scalloped hammerhead sharks live in the warm tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Hmm. The pond in our garden isn't big enough for the shark to swim in. We should bring the shark back to its home in the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the ocean, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a young scalloped hammerhead shark. The shark looks a little cramped in that tank. There you go, little friend. Much better now. Is it safe to swim with the shark, Ranger Rocky? Scalloped hammerhead sharks normally do not attack people unless they are threatened. However, you should still keep your distance, especially from the adult sharks. If you want to find the young shark's home, you should keep a lookout for seashores. Young scalloped hammerhead sharks prefer to live in large groups near the seashores of islands. This is because the water is shallow there which means the water is less deep. The shallow water helps keep large predators away. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a lot of ocean. And on this side is the seashore of an island. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a lot of ocean. And over there, is the seashore of an island. 
So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the seashore where the water is shallow. Young scalloped hammerheads prefer shallow water because there are fewer predators. Let's go! What is it, Hero? Hey, where did the shark go? Let me have a look. I see the hammerhead shark. It's chasing shrimp underwater. Oh no, the shark is caught in the net. The net must have come from that boat over there. I think it's a shrimp trawler. What's a shrimp trawler? A shrimp trawler is a fishing boat designed to catch shrimp. Unfortunately, other marine animals are sometimes caught in the nets by accident. These marine animals are called bycatch. We've got to save our friend from becoming bycatch. Katie and Hero, you stay here and watch the jeep, okay? What do you think, Hero? Should Leo have all the fun alone? Phew, that was close. Thanks, Katie and Hero. I could not have done it without you two. No problem, Leo. It was actually Hero's idea. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the young shark's home, just look for water by the shore. Not for a candy store or an angry boar. But look for water by the shore. I see. So not for a candy store or an angry boar, but, but look, look for water, water by, by the shore. shore. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young hammerhead shark's home, you have to look for water by the shore. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be water by the shore. The seashore's shallow water will make a good home for the young shark. Good luck! Is this water by the shore? No, the water here is too deep. Let's move on. What do we have here? Hmm, that's water by the shore, but there are fishing boats nearby. It's not safe for the shark to live near these boats. So let's keep looking. What about this water? There's a shore, and there's a group of young scalloped hammerheads. This must be a good place for the young shark to live. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the young hammerhead shark's home. Great work, everyone. Yay! We found a young scalloped hammerhead shark in our garden. We learned that scalloped hammerhead sharks come from the tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. So we went to the ocean and brought the young shark back to its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 